Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is your boy Tapex here. Back on my familiar commentary. And this is a true boots on ground classic TDM, the tactical team deathmatch game mode. This is a Deatomizer Strike in the tactical team deathmatch mode. And when I tell you this was my first game ever playing tactical team deathmatch, I put that on God. This is my first game I've ever played of tactical team deathmatch. On Infinite Warfare, I ended up getting a Deatomizer Strike. So you know, let this, let that sink in. This type of player I am, good old boots on ground. And you know, in the the light of boots on ground, we had that little tease today. Call of Duty, the People's Army. Unfortunately, that was fake. But you know, honestly, the hype and you know the thought of the next Call of Duty being a boots on ground game, honestly, is really exciting for me. Honestly, I love the boots on ground CODs. I really don't like the jetpack CODs that much. Not because I'm not good at them. It's just the fact that there's just too much randomness, randomness excuse me. And I just feel that the games just have awkward flow. And just having the boots on ground COD, as you can see in the gameplay, you can easily like predict the traffic patterns. You know where people are for the most part. It's pretty much a gun on gun gunfight. It's not really a gun on gun with hardware. And what I mean by gun on gun with hardware is like a lot of the gameplays that you see on YouTube and a lot of the players in general who are, you know, are typically better at the ground, at the, at the ground COD, excuse me, the jetpack CODs. Are simply only better just because they have either a scuff controller, you know, control freaks, for what for that matter. So it's really just dependent on you know what type of setup you have. And back on like the ground cots, it really didn't matter. You can just tear it up with a regular controller, and you can still do the same in Infinite Warfare with a regular controller. But it's just so much easier, you know, just playing um with a scuff controller or like playing bumper jump or a claw for that matter just because the thrusters are in the game and it's kind of stupid not to take advantage of just because you know everybody else in the lobby is obviously going to be taking advantage of the jetpack so you know what you might as well you know just ride that train you know and just pretty much use them yourself because if you don't use them you're pretty much going to get outgunned and i feel like that's why a lot of people don't like the jetpack cards including myself is you just lose a lot of gunfights that just don't make sense and it did that you really wouldn't lose them if it was a regular you know boots on ground cod obviously you can still jump shot in the ground cods but it's not you know as pronounced as you know obviously as you see in like the jetpack cods it's more of like a tamed gunfight and pretty much if you have better gun skill and you have better aim you're going to win a lot of the gunfights as you can see in the gameplay like people get first shot on me but you know since i have a better aim you know better reaction time and overall just a better player i can easily just outgun them and this is honestly like what you know, I really miss COD. I, re I wish they would just go back to this. And I really hope uh, the next Call of Duty is a boots on ground game. This is a relatively, it's a slower de atomizer. I kind of wanted to clutch this out just because this was my first ever game mode playing this. And it's on the map Genesis. Genesis really isn't my favorite map. Um, it's just a little bit weird. Uh, people tend to camp on Genesis, as weird as that sounds. People don't really move. They sit in B room, and that's what they were doing a lot in this game. So that's kind of why the Deatomizer streak is a little bit slower. Uh, in the next couple days, I'm going to be uploading an insane Deatomizer I've been teasing on Twitter. I also have a couple other Deatomizer strikes that are actually really, really quick that I'm going to post on my channel. So I just wanted to mix it up a little bit. Boots on ground, Deatomizer strike, you know, in that classic team deathmatch in the light of you know the new tease call of duty so hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay and you know just enjoy the carnage man i mean boots on ground dude like honestly boots on ground cod i think that would honestly bring the community back i really do i think if they release a good classic boots on ground cod whether that be you know modern warfare game or like a vietnam based game or a world war ii game i, I think it would definitely you know get the community back to, you know somewhat back to where it was get a lot of like the og players to come back to the series because it's just a lot of new kids nowadays and people don't really you know appreciate the boots on ground cars they call them a little slow paced but they really really were like great games and i feel like people are missing out and they really should be able to experience you know what we had to experience back in the day so it's been your boy tapex series hope you guys know this gameplay get the deatomizer strike right around here this kid just gets melted there it is and hope you guys you know have a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.